What's up, everybody? Aaron and Zach here, Revival House Network. What's up, babies? We're doing a retro rampage, and pretty excited about this one. This is the Mega Man 11 demo. We're going to play the demo for the first time, baby. We're going to play it on casual. You know why? Because if you play it on normal, there's no fucking checkpoint, so fuck that. Yeah, screw that. Well, we have done a demo before. We did a RE7 demo. Oh, yeah. So, but this is, I'm excited about this. Mega Man's had a bit of a resurgence in the past year. You know, Capcom showing some love uh, with the, you know, we had the Mega Man Legacy Collection. We have the X Collection Legacy that was just released uh, a month ago or so, which I've been enjoying that a lot. And uh, this one, this one looks fantastic, man. Uh, I, at first, when they showcased it, I don't know if it was at E3 or what it was last year, it looked a little stiff, you know? Like, Oh yeah. Like Mega Man's animation looked a little stiff. The way he jumped looked stupid, but you could tell it was still being worked on. It looks a lot better now. So. What this? So let's do. Do you need Do you need practice working Mega Man? It's pretty much the same, right? I, I it's been a while since I played, so this is helping out a little bit. You don't know how All to right. play Mega Man. It's like riding a bike, man. The timing for the shooting is always uh, weird to get used to again for me. All right, we we got one level. Block man. The block. Oh, I thought it said black man. Oh, that would have been better. He he could have been uh, like dressed in black too, and he could have been wearing blackface. It would have been racist as fuck. I'm black man. You know? Did did he say it? Did he have a voice actor there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have my fucking thing off my audio I need to download this for the switch what are you playing it on PS mm -hmm. okay and this is the only level they give you access to yep for the demo yeah fair enough do they let you beat it though uh yeah why wouldn't they you fuck up I don't know man remember back in the day some demos were timed or something like I that was the worst I haven't played a demo since, like, the Jam Pack PS1 days. I've never downloaded a demo. I've never played, you know, the last gen or this gen. Never done it. This is probably the first demo I'll ever download. You're a fuck up. You're a bitch boy. Does it control like Mega Man? Is it pretty fluid, though? Does it feel like you're playing Mega Man? Yeah. What the fuck do you think it feels like? Because it's, it's different. It feels like you're squeezing a pussy. You're squeezing an ass. This game, uh, the controls remind me of the first time I fucked a goat. That was a fucking bomb. So yeah, I gotta say, like, I was a little worried because I was like, man, I, I wish they would've just stuck with the 8-bit art style, but I'm liking this. It's pretty. You definitely adjust to it, and... You know, if they just would have put it in print saying, hey, the next uh, official Mega Man installment is going to be 2.5D, you're instantly scared. Mm-hmm. You know, but when you see this... It just looks like 2D to me. It's it's more 2D than it is 5D, you know? there's mm -hmm. But there's a little bit of 5D in there, you know? Yeah. See, like, look at but it's, it's pretty. 5D isn't a real thing. Fuck you. 2.5D. But you know, maybe this is, maybe this is where it's at because they've already done the uh, the NES graphics again. Isn't it weird how like so much this this series jumps around? You know, you go from seven on SNES, you go eight on the Sony PlayStation, and those both have different sprites each. And then all of a sudden, nine, ten, they go back oh. to the NES sprites. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing this. Yeah, that was a weird uh, thing to do. A weird choice to make. We're gonna, we're gonna go back in time, even though it's a, a later sequel. But this does kind of remind me of like, uh, was it seven or eight that looked like this? Uh, this looks more like eight. All right, yeah. Kinda. It's pretty, but it looks better because it's HD. Yeah, and eight's you know it's just an okay game. Eight's kind of frustrating. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope this game's better than eight. They all are. They're all fucking frustrating. Well, part eight on the PlayStation One has all that 
Duck, duck, slide, slide, duck, duck, jump, jump, slide, slide. You know that level? Fucking crap with a rapper over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a duck. I think it was just ju jump, jump, slide, slide. It was the. It is. It's a horrible level. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. That would be a fun like playthrough. If only we could stream that game. Yeah. Well, we'd have to have a capture device. Fuck these robots! I wanna, f I wanna fuck them. I would fuck them so hard till they came. Oh shit! Like, yeah. Sometimes, like, you ever, you ever get like one of those little. Oh, it feels like uh, I pressed jump, but my fucking control was unresponsive for for a second. That just happened, and it, it makes me want to come in inside my controller and, and fucking get it pregnant and have another controller. Yeah. See, this is. It looks like this is the fucking disappearing blocks in a way because I it looks like I gotta hear the audio and I can't so I'm all discombobulated so hopefully this don't fucking hang me up for a while you're uh you're just not good at Mega Man <laughs> I don't see why you're failing at this why is it so hard oh you could be playing and you're not you're a little see it's easy to say you're great whenever you're not playing you little That's the problem with you, is you're always you're always making me do the work, and all you do is fucking sit there. Like a little bitch. You're such a fucking incel. Fuck! You all you have all your stuff in one area. Do you need uh get your you need to get your pogo there, dude. Get my pogo on. Yeah, get rush up there. These stupid robots <laughs> will stop spawning like fucking bitches. You fucking asshole! He, he's constantly man. moving, he's <laughs> such a bitch! Fucking Rush. I'd fuck that dog. I'd fuck him in his ass. You'd sick your friend on that dog. Yeah, I'd watch my friend jack him off. <laughs> and, then, and then I'd watch my friend fuck his sister in the, in the back of a pickup truck. We gotta get past this part, man. This is ridiculous. Hurry up, you fucking block, you bitch. See if this block was in my like in my real house, I'd beat the fuck out of it. All right, so what? You do we ever get? just get pissed off at inanimate objects? Like you, you snub your fucking toe, and you're just like, "Fuck!" And you want to okay, kick see, the fucking thing? He did it. Awesome. Now watch me die, and I have to do it all over again. I, I suppose you wouldn't have so much incentive because you don't own a Switch. But did you uh, did you happen to catch the Nintendo Direct yesterday? No. It's a pretty good one. Some cool announcements at games. Are they putting the new Metroid on the Switch? Everybody knew that was going to happen. They are? Metroid Prime 4. Oh, I meant the fucking... The one that came out for the... Oh, Return of Samus. Return to Samus. No! <laughs> Samus Return! <laughs> oh, Return of Samus is uh, the Game Boy one. But, no, they, they're not doing that. But I wish they would have, because it's like, there's there's plenty of games that they're going cross-platform in this later day, so I don't know why they didn't. They're fucked up! They announced Luigi's Mansion 3 for Switch. Cool. I didn't know there was a 2. Yeah, it's uh, on the 3DS. Don't steal my fucking head, bitch! <laughs> fucking liar, too. They announced Animal, an Animal Crossing Switch game, which I've never played Animal Crossing. I know a lot of people, especially like girls, like Animal Crossing. My sister used to love that shit. It's a girl thing, I think, you know, and if I'm offending anybody out there that likes Animal Crossing that's not a female, I, I don't know what I'm talking about either, so, you know, c consider that. It's like, it was like Farmville before the before uh, Facebook. Ah. My mom used to play Farmville. Doesn't surprise me. Exactly. And then one day she's like, why the fuck am I wasting my time? And she stopped. It was really funny. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. U is getting a deluxe treatment, and they're releasing that on uh, the Switch, which is really cool. They're uh, releasing, gosh, what else was it? Oh, they're, they're finally putting Final Fantasy games on the Switch, which is cool for me. 7, 9, 10, 10, 2. They're putting that uh, Final Fantasy 12 remaster that came out last year for PS4 on there. Uh, and they're putting like a dumbed down version of Final Fantasy 15 called FF15 Pocket, I guess, which was a mobile game. Which it's the same game. It's just like a cutesy oh, anime looking. Another room like this. 
Dude, this level's annoying, man. Why are they giving you this level on the demo? This is not selling me on the game. They're fuck-ups. Oh! See, this game's gonna fucking kick my ass! See, uh, we lied. Oh. It's actually it's actually Aaron playing. It's not me. He's the one that sucks. Did we turn it on the easiest mode? No, we could. In that mode, you can't fucking die at all. Oh, really? What happens? Like, if you fall into a pit, something comes out and grabs you and pulls you back up. Yeah, let's not do that. That'll be embarrassing. Yeah, it would. You have to use that block, right? That's falling at the right time to jump over there? I don't fucking care. I'm just gonna use this fucking dog. Dog can suck my dick. Oh my gosh. I fuck that dog until he comes. Like, imagine, like, if you were into bestiality and you're fucking dogs. Imagine, like, sucking that lipstick of the dog and then it just shoots a nut. What do you think Whitney Wisconsin was thinking first time she fucked a dog? Uh, she obviously was pretty turned on by it because she kept doing it, right? Yeah, exactly. You think a dog just knows how to fuck a chick and it, well, they put us to shame and we just don't know? Some people have a weird closeness with their animals, so they're weird. I don't know, man. I'd fuck my dog. That's no, I fucking disgusting. But you know what I would do? I'd jack off in my dog's face. No, I wouldn't. See, I can't even joke about that. I like my dogs it's too much to joke about that. See, why Why can you joke about that, but there's certain things you do joke about? You know what I'm, you know, without saying it? Isn't that funny? You can't... You can't keep a straight face talking about a dog. Exactly. But uh, when I say it about I'm not speaking about specific. Uh, if I was speaking I, about specific I probably, I probably wouldn't do it either. I, I don't even want to bring that up because I was actually really happy that it never came up on the Evil Dead 2 commentary. Not once. Yeah, I, I knew that was lacking something. Yeah, I don't know. Let's not talk about that. Move away from it. That's good shit. That's that's comedic gold. You're just a bitch. You're just an incel fuck up. And that's your problem, is just being an incel. Not knowing, like, how to get fucked and how good uh, to to fuck someone. Like, if when we meet, you're not gonna know how to fuck me the right way. And that's what sucks about you. You'll never fucking be able to satisfy me emotionally or sexually. What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the talking going. I'm surprised uh, I'm not fucking doing worse. I, can't, I forgot I could do slow motion. Hurry up and move your fist, you fucking slow bitch. You fuck up. God, I want to just fuck his ass and make him humble. Fuck you. Oh, death shot. Yeah, take that. The fuck boy. Is this getting... Oh no, he's gonna kill me! What's happening? I thought he was dead. Fucking liar, too. I've been used. Fuck him. Is this getting... <laughs> Shut up for a second. Jeez. Oh! <laughs> is, is this getting a physical release? Yeah, I think. Unless they're fucking fuck boys. It doesn't... Hopefully it doesn't have a $60 price tag. Probably 30 That's what they usually are. Oh, you fuck up. He drew first blood. Oh, he drew second blood, too. Oh, this fucker. See, now I'm doing terrible. He's lucky uh, it's not you playing, otherwise he'd be dead already, right? Because you're so amazing. <laughs> Are they giving you unlimited lives in the demo? Um, not on this mode. So hopefully I don't die again. So yeah, he fucking, he's a cheater. He's a fucking cheater pumpkin eater. He just turns into this and then fucking I still got to fight him. And then after I kill him, he's still alive. He's a little bitch. This fucker. Uh, 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 fuck this wall. Oh, I didn't think he'd get me. Uh. See, you should, I should pass the remote to you or the controller, I mean. Fucking remote. Some people, old people call game controllers remotes. Did your grandparents ever say, call it that? Ah, uh, no. Mine did. Pick up them remotes off the Gra ground. Yeah, they, grandparents are fucking stupid. They just don't understand. Take it from me. 
You should have got that energy caps. You should have got that energy capsule earlier in the stage. Yeah, I should have, but I didn't. So what are you gonna do about it, fuck boy? That's what I thought. Why don't you uh, suck my dick while you're down there? While you're down there on your knees, fucking praising me. <laughs> if you happen to, uh, if you happen to game over, I wonder if we can cheat and put it on easy mode and just cut it to where we're at the boss again. Uh, probably. <laughs> like I ain't gonna fucking, I ain't, I ain't gonna waste my time. <laughs> I, I don't care. I, I yeah, I suck. Who cares? Stop letting him jump on you. Like that's what uh, just... that's what playing games now will do to you. You just you just suck at older games, older style games. Well, games these days are they hold your hand. Exactly. They tell you exactly where to go. They're endless tutorial sessions. They don't know how to fucking suck your dick right though. The new Tomb Raider came out today. That's good. There's too many games uh, that are... Uh, even games that I want to play, I'll probably never get around to it. I'm playing Dragon Quest XI right now, and that's... Uh, it's got me excited. Yeah, how'd you it, like the ending of Metal Gear Solid Five? I still haven't finished it yet, and you know that. You fuck boy. So, here's my grievance on that. I will finish it. I'm gonna... I'll go back to it soon. It's just... I can tell the flaws of the game and you know towards the end there you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to do mindless missions that would otherwise be side no! quest type shit don't die um I just did to further well there's a little bit of a lag on my end but no anyway I don't think to further the story you should have to accomplish what are essentially like side quest type to any other game right it's fucking stupid. No, those are fine. Those are fun. Put on a fucking podcast and play, you old bitch. Stop being a pussy. It just goes on too long. It, it, it's like there's too much of a gap between, you know, progression and the story. It's too spread out. And, uh, like, I just want to... You're too much of a fucking incel is why. I want to finish the fucking story. I really want to. Then do it, bitch. The last part in my story, I think is quiet disappearing she bailed or something i think that's like the last thing i was at and i'm just trying to get to what's next i think quiet bailed and maybe eli or something disappeared i don't remember it because it's been so fucking long at this point because i've just been doing these stupid side missions i'm just gonna tell you the fucking ending if you no, don't up. i'll no just don't do that nobody do that i'll be fucking pissed Anyway, I needed a break from it. It's all your fault, bitch. I needed a break from it. It's all your it. fault. I need a break from it. Because it does get a little monotonous, you know? It gets a little monotonous, so... There's definitely a little bit of fat that could have been trimmed off this. But anyway, I'm playing Dragon Quest XI now, and I'm fucking loving that. And I've put... You know, I've, I've had it for a week. It came out last week, and... Fuck this game. Oh, man. If, if I die, we're just gonna end it. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Hey, uh, you want to know what happens if he dies? It goes, din -a, din -a, din -a, din -a, and it's over. Fuck you. You, you <laughs> okay, came so to the wrong fucking place. I agree. We don't give I a agree. fuck enough. <laughs> I agree. I don't think we should redo it. Uh, but what I'm saying is Dragon Quest XI, I've played that game more than I've played video games in the last year, minus, you know, MGS5. I've put about 20 hours into it in the last week. That's a lot for me, and I just... Even right now, all I want to do is play it. I can't wait till my night's over and I can just chill out for a couple hours and and uh, grind a little. Chill out. Big wild. And then whenever I finish uh, Dragon Quest, I'll, I'll get Spider-Man. I'll move on to Spider-Man because they came out at the same time and I can't play both. Of course you picked uh, the, the lamer one first. No, man. Well, no. Dragon Quest is my shit, man. I'm just joking. I don't give a fuck. You know what I, I, I want to do, though? Whenever we meet in Vegas, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to smack the shit out of you. For uh, for being such a, a fucking bitch. And we're going to film it. We're going to take bets on who wins the slap fight. We're going to do a bitch boy slap fight. You've got reach on me, because you're taller than me. But Exactly. I'm probably faster, and I'm probably stronger. So that was fun, guys. Thanks for watching. 
<laughs> Fuck you. See, here's the thing. This is what happens whenever you don't fucking play a game enough before you tackle it on a video. You just, you suck at it. So, uh, oh well. Fuck you. Sorry. You said you did beat this? You beat this demo? Yeah, I beat it, but that was like two weeks ago when I, when I first played it. And then I, I moved on to Spider-Man and I've been playing that. Hey, who is this? Uh, there's somebody in our chat. Base Forte 86 who's that? I have no clue. Is he laughing at me? He's saying, he had a few messages. He said, I saw a Brazilian guy rage quit just now at this level. And then he goes, he couldn't figure out how to get past the smashing obstacles. And he goes, couldn't they just not dub the game? <laughs> That's funny. I forgot this was open to the public. Can people just, I don't know how Twitch works, man. I feel like an old man. Can people just like search Mega Man 11 and you know, it'll come up in a search? I think so. Okay. Interesting. Well, so what you think, baby? You want to you want to tackle it again or what? I uh, I don't think so, dude. Try, try superhero just for a second. We'll do superhero for a second. Go I ahead. can't pick that yet. I'll try normal. That's uh, I gotta beat normal first. Ah, uh, I don't want to watch it again. Oh, if I, what? But you you wanted to watch it on superhero. Uh, just for a second, I wanted to see you get your ass kicked. Oh, well, let's just watch me get my ass kicked now then. And you could play us out. To play us out, what the fuck does that mean? To play us out. There are words there. Go ahead. Go ahead, do that shit. Go, go do your whole spiel. Like, oh yeah, we're on iTunes and all that shit. And we'll, this will play while you're talking. Not, it's better than just a fucking screen set in there. Which you always fucking uh, do, you bitch. Let me see if there's any notable comments on uh, previous... Yeah, you do that, fuck boy. Did you guys finish RE0? Did you not finish the third part? We started to finish the third part, and then we fucked up. So we gotta redo it. And I'll, I'm gonna do it if I have to do it myself. If Mac doesn't want to fucking finish it, then I'll, I'll have to do it myself, because we started it. Why wouldn't Mac want to finish it? Because he's a fuck boy. Did he say no? The same reason you don't want to do shit you say you want to do. <laughs> Harsh. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he never gave you promises. Like Turbo Man always says. Like, if you, if you give you promises if you want to keep your friends. Yeah, fuck that kid. I want to beat the fuck out of fucking Jamie Lloyd, whatever his name is. He talks to me like that. Yeah, Jamie Lloyd. He says, always keep your always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. I'm not with this double guy. Uh. Yeah, that he he fucking he went he went too light on him. He should have fucking like threatened to kill him and kill his mom too. In that scene, movie would have been better. Threatened to fuck the nanny and have a better son with her. Exactly. Uh, on your guys' last um, re zero, the part two. Uh, Adrian Mendoza, he did ask, how did you guys forget to save? That is a good question. How did you make such a rookie mistake? I don't know. I, I rarely ever save when I'm playing through the games. Yeah, you're overly confident. Yeah. That's what happened. Gamer Guy reviews, if Zach ran for president, chances are his slogan would be, I would eat her ass. I mean, not if he wants to get elected. No, that would be it. I wouldn't give a fuck if they elected me or not. You'd pull a Kid Rock and it'd be just for publicity? Exactly. Or Roseanne or whoever. I'd pull Donald Trump and it'd be for publicity, but then I'd actually win. <laughs> and it'd be funny. And Mac would be my VP. Dude, this kind of frustration doesn't get doesn't make me look forward to it. Because I, I don't I just don't have patience for a lot of frustration anymore. For the game? Oh my god. Yeah, some of those old yeah, it's just tough. Dude, fucking, I've, I still never play or beat fucking Mega Man 10 or 11. They're fucking hard. Actually, I did beat 10. You yeah, I did beat 10. 9. I did beat 9. Only whenever they put out the new collection, which they added fucking... Uh, Easy uh, modes, or, or, Yeah. No. It, they added a mode where you take, like, half, as, half damage or something, and then I can finally beat it. So I haven't played 9 or 10 on the collection yet. I downloaded 9 when it first came out, and it was fucking brutally hard. It was ridiculously hard. I couldn't beat it. 
and uh, there's this one level with a bunch of like crystals and shit that were sharp and if you jewel man he's the first guy Oof, or, dude. You, you can fight him first I, I don't think I did but it was just brutal man because I couldn't there was some there was a really hard jump in it to where you uh -huh. had to like jump across the space and also not hit like one of the protruding fucking crystal spikes you, you were standing on like a platform that only swung whenever you ran on it it was impossible like I don't I don't know how people did it. Very carefully. I had heard with uh, part 10 they added an easy mode due to the complaints about 9 being just ridiculously fucking hard. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't have as much patience for that anymore. Yeah, it's because you're a fucking incel. I have all the patience. See, uh, I actually did beat this game on my first try, but... Uh, I, I, I lied and uh, pretended to die. So fuck you. I'm really the greatest player ever. Oh, fuck. That didn't happen either. You fucker. You're just, uh, you're, oh, I guess there. Oh, look at you, dude. There is uh, fucking respawns, but there are way less of them. Did you get the uh, the X Legacy collection? Uh, not yet. I, I'm still saving money. See, I like that better. I've always liked some you know, the X Games are tops for me. Like one through three are great. Uh, I played I hundred percent of the first Mega Man X. I mean, I can play that game in my sleep. I played two. I played I played Mega Man X for the first time like three years ago. I love the first Mega Man. Oh, I didn't did play the, uh... it as a kid. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Anyway, I, I played through two last, and I got. I'm at. Uh, Sigma's Fortress, but I kind of put it down for a couple of weeks. That fucking Juggalo. Yeah, I put it down for a couple of weeks because I'm trying to 100% them, and I'm trying to get the, uh, uh, what is it, um, the Shoraruken, the Dragon Punch, or whatever the fuck it is in that one, and it's it's pretty frustrating and pretty hard, and I just got frustrated because I refused to beat the game without all the armor, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could easily beat the game, but... I, I could easily do it. I'm just I'm just choosing not to. Yeah, right, fuck boy. You you keep telling yourself that. You keep telling yourself that. That juggalo's got the best of you. He beats the fuck out you. Seriously though, were you never you never talk about him, but were you not a, a role playing game guy? You never like JRPGs? Uh not huge into him. That that's my genre, man. That's my favorite genre. That's good for you, fuck boy. So <laughs> omitting Zelda which is still a role playing game but it's an, more of an action role playing game uh, that's just kind of where my heart is but yeah JRPGs man I'm obs I was obsessed with the old Final Fantasies oh I did the same thing and I was saved by the fucker in the wheel he saved my life I owe him my life there's serious lag on my end a there's serious lag on my end like by a couple of seconds and so or three seconds and then whenever you go oh I know in about three seconds you're gonna die. So my my patience is being tested. I, it's tested and it's fucking it's stretched so thin and it just smacked. It just slapped right in my fucking face, baby. So so you go ahead and end this shit. Oh, <laughs> so we're gonna end it? Unless you want to try it again. I'm uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. We've been we've been at this for fucking thirty minutes. Just for fun, let's look how easy the newcomer difficulty is. Yeah, why don't, why don't we do it on newcomer? Just beat it on newcomer. Because that'll be embarrassing. Well, we've already embarrassed ourselves. <laughs> so let's beat it on the newcomer. You embarrassed yourself. You're the one playing. I'm not. Oh. He's the one playing, guys. No, but man, Final Fantasy is my shit. Uh, I'm I'm excited that they're rehashing and putting those ports on the uh, Switch because. You know, it's kind of nice to have them on the go or whatnot. Everybody keeps forgetting about Part 8, though, because on the PS4, they released um, HD versions of 7 and 9, but they didn't put 8. And you can tell they're just taking those ports and putting them over on the Switch, because it's just, once again, 7 and 9 and 10. And I don't know why they won't put 8 on there, because I love that game. And I know you don't know what I'm talking about, because you never played them, but... I did play them. I just never beat any of them. Really? Mm hmm Which ones did you play and which ones did you like? If you liked any of them. Um, I don't know. I remember playing the first one and thinking it was okay. You mean the original Final Fantasy on the NES? Yeah. And then I, I must have I played the seventh one, because I played one on Super Nintendo. 
Thought it was okay. But the seventh was on PlayStation. Fucked hard. Isn't it seven? No. But it's called two here? That's four. Whatever the fuck it is. On the Super Nintendo, you have uh, what is here, two and three, or in Japan, is uh, four and six. That's good for it. We never got five. That was on the Super Famicom. Mm -hmm. And then on the Famicom, they had uh, FF uh, two and three. It's really con It was really confusing, but everybody pretty much knows the correct order these days. Seven was my shit. Now my dog's barking. My dogs are barking too, man. Fucking been on my feet all day. You got dogs? My feet. Oh, I was gonna say I thought you I thought you were some fucking soulless fuck that hated uh, animals. Says the guy that wants to fuck them. Exactly. I love them so much I want to fuck them. I want to make them feel good. I want to make them come. That's is that so bad to give your dog a fucking orgasm? Is that so bad? You're such a fucking a fuck boy. That's why you're an incel too. Like you wouldn't know this shit. Like you, if you're not down to fuck dogs, you'll never make you'll never make it with a human woman. <laughs> Chicks love guys who can fuck dogs. Nice. Wait, you don't even gotta use fucking rush there. Fuck this game. I was I was making it harder than it needed to be. Unless it's just unless you have a bigger jump on the easier difficulty, which is a complete possibility. But I would fuck these guys in the helmets. I, I bet they give good helmet. You really think they'd give you a longer jump on the easy mode? That'd be... Fuck uh, you, Block! Oh, see, there we go. Fucking liar, too. He saved me. That fucking bird, I would suck his dick. I'd peck his little cock up. I bet it feels good. I'd, I'd, I'd fucking eat, a, like, a, a steak or something and spit it into his mouth to feed him. What if you can still die, you just can't fall in holes? Um, I don't fucking know. What if you can die via damage? Because we have no problem. You got unlimited lives on this version. And there's a another fucking checkpoint every screen. Well, what good are unlimited lives if the fucking boss keeps killing you nonstop? I mean, what does that then do? You, then uh, you gotta fucking, you just kill yourself at that point. Because you'll never uh, be Omega like Mac and Zack. So... You gotta be Omega. We'll get to the final boss here, the boss here, and the Robot Master, as they're called, and if you can't beat him in one hit, or one one chance, I mean, if you do happen to die, then I say we're done. How about how about you suck my dick, and uh, how about you set on my dick, and we'll see who comes first, and then we'll be done. Yeah, that's, that's alright. Does that, does that sound good? I remember the first time I ever said that to you, you were, you were so shocked, like, what? And that's that's something I say to people all the time. Like I meet them and I say that to to, to test the waters. And uh, it's a good thing you didn't just fucking give up on me right there, because that would have been like the first episode of Retro Rampage I was on. It would have been over from there. Zach never comes back, baby. <laughs> well, he was on one episode. He said something fucking weird. He like sexually harassed me, and then I I fucking put an end to that guy. That's why, that's why at the beginning, as safety, it's just a special guest. <laughs> we, we made that mistake once with Corey G. We, uh, after two episodes, announced him as an official member, and then he became a fucking idiot. <laughs> that was a mistake. He became a fucking genius. You're just uh, an incel that didn't understand his uh, comedic genius. Who is this? Dude, I was laughing, dude, when I was listening to that on the Evil Dead 2 commentary. Not as much as you would have laughed if we played the other one, too. Ah, uh, not, not yet. You know, you know what fucking made me laugh so hard on that commentary? I was, I was laughing. I was in my bedroom listening to, the, to listen to it, and I died laughing. And, gosh, I can't remember. It's, you burned me. There was, like, this weird pause. And you said, so, it was all about the timing. It wasn't so much, <laughs> it wasn't so much what you said, because it was pretty much par for the course on what you say. But... <laughs> The timing was so fucking good, and I died. And it was like, um, oh, you you kind of had this approach like you were Bob Costas or something, and you're like, you, you insulted me, but you said it like an interviewer would. But anyway, <laughs> as you were, like what? Yeah. I was like, anyway, you were saying, Aaron, you fucking autistic bitch or something like that. Yeah, that's all it was. Like, no, uh, you, you autistic bitch. Uh, as you were, you autistic bitch. It was it was like so nonchalant and slipped in there, and it came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's because my my comedic timing is impeccable. You can't match my chops. 
It was good. I'm actually gonna. I actually think I have it in a chat. I sent it in the group. I'm gonna see exactly what you said. That's what it was. Because I quoted it. I'm still gonna look at it though. Because I want to make sure I got it right. Oh, I beat him in the first try. I, see, I'm not on the easiest thing. Oh, no, wait. He's not dead yet. I got this far la the first time. And never again. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh yeah! See, see now, see now I knew what to expect, so that's why I beat him. It's not because it was on the easier mode. I'm just that good. I'm just that good that I could beat it on the easier mode when I didn't have to. Exactly. Fuckers. You thought you you thought you got one up on Zach. You thought, oh, Zach's a bitch. He's playing on easy and, and he had to beat on easy. No, I, I I was just doing that to fuck with your perception to, to throw you off. That's the you ever read fucking uh, what's that? What's that fucker? Uh, uh, the Art of War. You got to make them think you're incompetent so that they're not expecting you to fucking come along and slit their throats at night, baby. That's how you do it. This is I've cool, the, though. I've read the art of the deal. Oh, I'm sorry. But this is cool that they, <laughs> they let you fucking test this shit out without having to ruin it. That's pretty cool. Good job on their part. I'd suck their dicks. Anyway. But that's it, baby. You can buy that game by pressing square right here. Pretty cool. It looks a little uh, stressful for my for my taste, so... But I, don't, I also don't want like a baby mode to where I can't die either, so. Is this, do you think this was the natural first boss you would fight in the game, you know? I don't know. Because they, actually, they give you fucking two other uh, weapons to use. So maybe one of those weapons kills them easier. You didn't even try that? I, I forgot I had them. Motherfucker, I'm sure that is. Whenever you play the first level, you think, oh, I don't have any other guns, and I just, that's just how it happened. That's probably what it was, man. I guarantee you this guy had a weakness. Mm-hmm. Because bot, they really shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. You know? So, I think you done fucked up. But, anyway, uh, it was fun. Thanks for uh, watching Zach humiliate Revival House with that display. But I hope to I hope to have a, a longer version of this when the game actually drops. I think it comes out next month, right? October something or other. Mm -hmm. so I was into cool. the idea of playing through Mighty Number no. Nine when it was for free and I got it. Oh really? But we never did. Yeah, eh, that game's kind of in the past. No one cares about it anymore. But that's all we got. Uh, hopefully this will be up soon, and I think you guys are gonna finish RE Zero next. I don't know. Probably. Mm -hmm. You probably got people waiting on the edge of the seat for that one. Probably not, but... They're wondering anyway. what the fuck happens to Billy Cohen and Rebecca Chambers, baby. Does... Do they fuck? Do we see her tits? So, I think as of this being posted, if I'm getting my scheduling right, we should have our alien extravaganza coming soon, because we've been talking about doing... Uh, commentaries for Alien 3, the theatrical cut, as well as Alien 3, the assembly cut, uh, and then even doing a podcast at the end, just sort of talking about it, maybe if that if we feel it's necessary after the commentaries are done. But that's that's a bit of an undertaking. I think if I've got my shit straight, Zach, that shit's going to drop the week following this, right? So let's, you know, if this is on a weekend that you guys are listening to it, I think. But And also, I want to do... Uh, a deep end really soon. Honestly, I'd like to try and do a deep end next weekend, Zach. Mm -hmm. uh, real bad. So we'll try and get that in the pipeline too. And uh, if you're listening to this, check out the new episodes of Mac and Zach. We did one with Aaron here, this little bitch boy. We did the fucking new Puppet Master movie, and then we were doing fucking uh, a month of Full Moon. So we, a bunch of Full Moon movies all week. Check yeah, that is out. really cool. That is really cool. And yeah, I gotta say, man, that. Uh, <laughs> That new Puppet Master with me on it, that is the funniest intro you guys have ever had. <laughs> you play I, I I had to work with what I had. Your fucking your shit stopped and the backup failed. That wasn't a joke. But you made it better somehow, the fuck up. <laughs> and you play I was at River Man's house last weekend and we recorded Evil Dead 2 with me and River uh both in, in his basement. And you played that for us, and dude, I was fucking dying laughing. It was so, it was so good. I mean, I, I can't. That I don't know. 
It was good. It was really good. So guys, go check that out. And uh, I think as soon as we're done recording this, we will have recorded another podcast. We're about to do a commentary for something else. So, you know, I think by the time this is up, it's probably the one that came out the previous Wednesday. But that's all we got. Zach, you got any final words, man? Do drugs. Drink and drive. Beat the shit out of kids. Kill your family. Do drugs. Smoking, snorting. I want to party with you. <laughs> That'll probably all get ble- beeped out. Oh, I guess I also, we want to pitch the hotline, right? We want to keep, so people call the hotline. You know, I'm paying for the hotline. So people flood it, you know, flood it. Flood that messages. shit. One, six, oh, two, three, nine, nine, seven, two, eight, zero. Motherfucker. That is one, six, oh, two, three, nine, nine, seven, two, eight, zero. And you call that shit. Or alternatively, you can email ask dot revival. Revive. Or is it Rev House? Oh, my bad. Ask dot Rev House at Gmail. Okay. Yeah. Or email us there. Uh, send us files. Send us audio there. Whatever you guys want to do. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you're liked in this video and you're subscribing and hitting the notification bell on the channel. Check us out on Podcast Networks if you want to follow our commentaries or our other podcasts that we have. Same thing with Mac and Zach Save the World. We got a uh, BTM feed here and we've got the Revival House feed that's got everything under one roof, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's something for everyone. And if you guys are over there, leave feedback, leave five star ratings, leave a comment or two. Help us out in that regards. We're also on Google Play and Stitcher as well. And we need to get on fucking Spotify, man. We need to figure out what's going on there. It's our fucking uh, uh, TalkShoe.com. We use TalkShoe. So it, the only you can't submit an RSS feed like most other places. It's like, oh, no, you got to go to your website that hosts it. And click on where it says add to Spotify and ours don't have it. Maybe we should think about jumping ship and going somewhere else. I think it's the only free one, baby. Oh. Well, regardless, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. If we had some money coming in for this shit, we'd we'd be upgrading all that stuff. I'd like to go to... That's why go to www.patreon.com slash Revival House is the baddest, baby. And you give us 800 bucks a week and we will send you pictures of our cocks. And we will put our cocks together until we jizz on each other's cocks. We don't have a Patreon, do we? No, we don't. (laughs) So that's what you get what you get. This shit's for free, bitch. I wonder if we should look into that stuff and make that part of the um, the T-shirt stuff, you know, like, uh, you know, giving out shirts and stuff, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. If we ever did work out some kind of Patreon type of program, I think we would probably somehow utilize merchandise and I don't know. Yeah, and start doing private shows for Patreon only people. That's what private. they do. That sounds like you're going to be jacking off in front of your camera. No, just like other commentaries. Maybe they get access to them first. Yeah, no one normal. no one really does that. No, and To me, I think people should. For the people that pay people, they're like... All the people I know of do it. I know, they do that, but you'd think the people that pay for stuff, they would get exclusives. No, they don't. It's like, you get it first. Like, well, fuck, man. I'll save my money and wait. I know people that do exclusives. Really? Yeah. If you if you have a big enough subscriber base, I guess it'd be worth it. But we'll see. We need to start kicking around ideas like that, you know, just as options. I, I do want to get some shirts printed, though. I do want to kick around some designs once I have some free time, and we'll, we can talk about it and get old T-shirt Joe to print us up some stuff. So mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all we got. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye, puppets.